rocky and ultimately impossible to navigate if you don't hear from God on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. So uh, faith coming by hearing, hearing by the word of God. You need somebody who don't mind getting into that word and staying there so that they can relay the message of righteousness. And then Jude talks about, Jude 1, 3, talks about that this particular faith that Paul so eloquently and aggressively talked about in 2 uh, Timothy chapter 4, before his death, he wrote a letter to his son in the gospel, Timothy, and he said, and I like those three F's over there. He said, I fought a good fight. I finished my course. Mm -hmm. And I've kept the faith. Yes. What faith is that, Brother Rutley? I'm glad you asked. Because Jude 1.3 says, we as believers should earnestly contend for the faith mm -hmm. that was once delivered unto the saints. There's a faith that have been delivered unto the saints. It's a special delivery. You can't just believe God casually right. and be successful. You must have this special faith that was once delivered unto the saints. So any and everybody can't receive that. So that's the faith you need to look for, if you will, in the life and fellowship mm -hmm. with somebody who may eventually be a potential mate or a marriage partner. Mm -hmm. Number three, just, just go back. Those past lessons will reveal to you these passages and these subtopics, and they will bless you real good. Mm -hmm. Number three, look for a person who seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Right. The kingdom of God and God's righteousness. Not your righteousness. Mm -hmm. Not my righteousness. Not the righteousness of the nation. Not the righteousness of the subdivision or the city, the state, as, as such. Mm -hmm. And laws change depending on what part of the world or the country you may be in. Mm -hmm. But God's law remains the same. Yes. God's word and, 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 and the scripture says concerning Jesus that he is the same yesterday. Today and forever. Today and God doesn't change. Right. And I love it. Yes. I love it. Thank you, Lord. And so if he doesn't change, mm -hmm. then you need somebody who is not up today and down tomorrow. That's right. Somebody who say yes today mm -hmm. and no tomorrow or maybe the next day. Mm -hmm. No. We need some stable people right, stability. in our lives. Yes, yes. Because if you're unstable, you're going to create instability mm -hmm. in somebody else. God help us. So, uh, number three, seek. If you're looking for a mate, seek for a person who is seeking the kingdom of God mm -hmm. and God's righteousness. Matthew 6.33. Somebody who will and is willing to put God's business That's right. first, mm -hmm. uno. Mm -hmm. Number four, is that where we are today, That's Dr. Where we are today. Number four, uh, let's look for a person who love God, mm -hmm. who love God. God is love. Mm -hmm. The person that you're looking for should love God. Dr. Rutley is going to meet us over in Matthew's Gospel chapter 22, mm -hmm. beginning at verse 36 through 39, right down Deuteronomy 6, 14. We're going to visit that for reference. Psalms 86, 11 through 12. A person who loved the Lord God, the Lord God. Not just the Lord, because there are laws many. Mm -hmm. There are God's many. So let's identify the Lord God you're talking about. And uh, there's a passage, Dr. Rutley, uh, that 
came to mind when we were coming down in Acts, I think, 17, is yes. it? Mm -hmm. We want to show some of you because there are those who are worshiping God, but they worship God ignorantly. Mm -hmm. Ignorantly. Not really knowing who he is and what he's all about. We're going to take you over there in a few moments. Dr. Rutley is going to begin reading with and for us over in Matthew chapter 22. Before she read, I want to thank God for those of you who are kind enough, brave enough, and um, you're hungry enough to seek God with us and for us, because if you're seeking him uh, with us, then we also covered your prayers. And so we thank you for uh, following us, if you will. Uh, call a friend, a neighbor, an enemy, somebody, and let them know that uh, we're here for their sake. We're not trying to uh, score brownie points, and we're not trying to win a popularity contest, but we're here to deliver unto you the word of truth. Amen. Matthew 22, 36 through 39, and it reads, Master, which is the great commandment in the law? Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's, that is that is extremely rich, mm -hmm. rich. Let, let's just quickly go over that. 36 says, um, this young man asked a question. Mm -hmm. He says, uh, Master, he recognized that Jesus wasn't just a teacher. He was the master teacher. Mm -hmm. Now, something else that comes to mind as the Spirit lead me, this is in Matthew, uh, Dr. Rutley, find the passage that says where Jesus, I'm thinking it's chapter 11, where Jesus said, come unto me all ye that are labor and are heavy laden, and I'll give, and you, I'll give you rest. Uh, he says, take my yoke upon you. 11, let's look down uh, at verse 28. Uh, well, let's back up to verse 27. And let's read down through verse uh, 30. All things are delivered unto me of my Father. Now Jesus is speaking. And no man knoweth the Son but the Father. Now watch this. First of all, when you obey God, please understand, promotion is inevitable. When you obey God, mm -hmm. you can only go up. Mm -hmm. If you obey God, you can only be successful. Don't let the enemy tell you nothing different. Jesus obeyed God, mm -hmm. and as he obeyed God, all things were delivered unto him mm -hmm. because he obeyed God. Even to the point where he ultimately said, nevertheless, mm -hmm. not my will, but thine will be done. So Jesus understood what he signed up for. You see, before I signed up and be, as before I began to work for GM, I there was an agreement. Mm -hmm. And so when you obey, when you're faithful, do you not know they pay us for just for not only punctuality, they paid us for perfect attendance. Mm -hmm. They paid us. You know, so there are some incentives, and people don't realize, Dr. Rutley, today, they think we can just treat God any kind of way. Right. I guarantee you, if we treat our jobs mm -hmm. the way we treat God, my, my, we'll my, come my. up short. Right, sir. Your check won't be as long, mm -hmm. won't be as fat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. You see, but but we don't we don't treat our jobs the way we treat the house of God. Mm -hmm. See. Uh, and, and God doesn't require much. Right, sir. And yet he, he requires more than we care mm -hmm. to agree. For an example, God is not looking for us to enter into a relationship with him once or twice a week. 
Right. What kind of marriage would that be? He's looking for somebody who's willing mm -hmm. to spend the rest of their lives with him. Yes, yes. If you're looking for a mate, mm -hmm. you're looking for somebody you you can you okay with, you know, twice a week, mm -mm. you see them? Mm -mm. Three times a week, maybe? I'm looking for somebody that I can spend the rest of my life with. Somebody, and, and every day, I thank God for my girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Every day, mm -hmm. every day, I try not to miss a day. Mm -hmm. I'm glad I'm with you. I'm yes. glad God yes. uh, allowed you to enter into my life. Yes, yes. I, I don't fight this woman. Mm -hmm. I don't call her out of her name. Mm -hmm. She don't call me out of my name. Mm -hmm. God doesn't call the church out of her name. That's right. His name. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't call your mate out of her name. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and granted, these bodies change. Mm -hmm. And when change, and, and change, understand, understand, brothers and sisters, change is inevitable. Right. Change is going to come. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and when change comes, mm -hmm. you got to have the power of God and the wherewithal, the wisdom of God mm -hmm. as to how to handle these changes. Right. Mm -hmm. Your hair is not going to stay black. Excuse me. It's going to turn. What color is going to turn, I can't tell you. Right, right, right. Because some people hair doesn't turn white. Mm -hmm. Some people hair turn red mm -hmm. or some other color. But whatever it turns, you ought to love that person nevertheless. You want to weigh in on that, Dr. Rutledge? No, you're doing good, Bishop. I'm going to try to keep keep on point because okay. you know if I get started. Okay. Amen. Well, I don't, I don't have good. no problem going where he leads me. <laughs> Amen. Where Amen. he leads me, somebody say, follow. I will follow. Amen. Somebody say, where yeah. he leads me. Where he leads me. I will follow. I will follow. Amen. Okay. That, mm -hmm. That's what he's looking for. That's yes. why you need faith because God right. will send you places you don't want to go. Mm-hmm. Don't look like. Lord, crossing that bridge doesn't look possible. Right, right. You know, uh, I saw a vision of a bridge one day. I think I mentioned it to you several times through our lifetime. Right. This was an old, rotten, beat-up bridge that just didn't look crossable. Mm -hmm. And the Lord said that's the way life is. Mm -hmm. So in order to cross that bridge, you need faith. Yes, Lord. Because if you got faith, mm -hmm. he would tell you where to step. Mm -hmm. He'll tell you where to step. Now, if he crossed the bridge of life, mm -hmm. don't you know he's know what he know what's good and what's not? That's right. If if we choose to follow him, every man right. have a choice. Right, sir. Every woman have a choice. Mm -hmm. Every individual have a choice. Mm -hmm. You see, and of course, and I thought about it, and I asked the Lord, I said, now what about those where, in those cases where it seemed like uh, the, deck, the deck was stacked against them? Mm -hmm. God judges the heart of man. Mm -hmm. He doesn't judge circumstances. You see, see what, what happened is circumstances will discourage you. Faith on the other hand, right. will encourage you. Yes, it will. Because mm -hmm. faith shows you mm -hmm. the end of a thing from the beginning. Right. You can start out behind mm -hmm. in a race. That doesn't mean that you you lost. That's right. It just means you're behind. That's all. Y'all still here? Have y'all dismissed yourself? You're just behind. And the good part about being behind, Bishop, is that it's a perfect opportunity for God to show himself. And that's and what he, he does. The glory. And that's mm -hmm. what he does. Because mm -hmm. many yes. of us, again, we started out, Dr. Rutley, in this race called life. It yes. wasn't good. Right. Mm -hmm. It wasn't good. But look right. where we are now. Look where we are now. Look at God. Look at God. And it's all for his glory. Mm -hmm. All for his glory. We can't take any glory, you know, for where we are. Can't do it. It's all him. It's all him. Mm -hmm. And he's looking for somebody who's willing to, when times get hard, to right. trust him. That's it. Mm -hmm. And not give up. Right. 
not murmur and complain as did Israel. That's right. Not throw in the towel, not go back, not renege. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. when you're playing the card game, you can renege. Mm -hmm. You know, you can play you can play the wrong card right. at the wrong time. Mm -hmm. But if you I declare unto you, mm -hmm. if you if you turn your hand over to his hand, you got a bad hand, what what can you do with it? Nothing. Why don't you give it to somebody who knows what to do with it? Yes, he does. Turn he it does. over to, the, the songwriter said, turn it over to Jesus. That's right. And he'll work it out. Yes, he will. Amen. Amen. So uh, over here mm -hmm. where it says, again, Jesus says, um, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because thou has did what? Hid these things. Right. Um, this is back over in Matthew now, 11.25. Oh, okay, 25. Mm -hmm. Some things God will hide from those who don't have faith. You, mm -hmm. you just can't see. A kernelly minded man can't see God, cannot hear God, and ultimately cannot and will not obey God. Mm -hmm. That's why your mate somewhere in, in these bullets your mate need to be spirit filled because mm -hmm. if that person is not spirit filled, they cannot and they refuse to be spirit led. Right. You must be spirit filled mm -hmm. in order to be spirit led. And so now uh, let's look down at 1127. Again, he says, all, all things, things are delivered unto me of my father. And no man knoweth the Son but the Father. Now, how can you dispute that? Mm -hmm. Because you don't know who your Father is. You don't know where, where he is or who he is. The Lord knows who his Father is. And, and, and you're going to see uh, God can reveal who he is to whomsoever he will. Mm -hmm. Everybody don't know that. That's why we're going to show you in a few moments over in Acts 17, mm -hmm. there are those who are worshiping God ignorantly. Mm -hmm. There are movies out there, and I've seen some of them. Mm -hmm. I cannot name any, any right. of them. But life is true in that there are people who are in a relationship with their father and don't know that the person that they're in relationship with is indeed their father. True. True. Because nobody told them. True. Mm -hmm. and, 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 the, and the children get upset. Why didn't you tell me so-and-so right. was my dad? Right. Secrets mm -hmm. that will ultimately be revealed. Mm -hmm. Secrets. Mm -hmm. But anyway, we'll show you in a few moments where many of us who are churchgoers, Ignorantly worship the Lord God. Here he says again, he said it out of his own mouth, all things are delivered unto me of my Father. Again, read Dr. Rutley, verse 27. And no man knoweth the Son but the Father, neither knoweth any man the Father, save the Son. Yes. And he to whomsoever the Son will reveal him. Now, let me just touch on this and we're going to move on. When you see the phraseology, the phrase that says the Son of God is merely saying the flesh of God, mm -hmm. the flesh of God. There is scripture that says God was in Christ. Mm -hmm. God is a spirit, but he took on flesh. Christ Jesus represents the invisible God in the flesh but God see if, if you don't have a relationship with God you don't know who Jesus is and you'll never know who God is if you don't have a relationship with Jesus you'll never know who God is but you have to you have to have a relationship with the Lord Jesus and you are discovered as did who is that in the 20th chapter of John uh, Thomas, they call him Doubting Doubt Thomas. Thomas. Mm -hmm. 
He had no clue as to who Jesus was until he touched him. Right. How many of you know you got to get close enough to Jesus to touch him mm -hmm. in order to make such a declaration? Right. When he touched Jesus' mm -hmm. side and hand, mm -hmm. what came out of his mouth was revelation. Mm -hmm. He said, my Lord. Mm -hmm. Y'all remember the scripture? Yeah. And my God. That only comes by way of relationship. Peter could not say that he was the Christ until God revealed it. Right. Because Jesus said, Jesus called his hand and said, now where, 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 where Peter, mm -hmm. flesh and blood, didn't reveal that to you. Because mm -hmm. he asked, well, whom do men say that I am? They went down the list. And then he, he, he made it personal. He said, well, you whom say. do you say that I am? And let me make it personal. Mm -hmm. Who do you say Jesus is? Who, who do you say Jesus is? Right. And some people will say, he's this, mm -hmm. he's that, and the other. Do you not know, as said down in Thomas, he's my Lord, and he's my God. Mm -hmm. How is that possible? Because I believe. I believe not just on Jesus, mm -hmm. I believe in Jesus. Right. God was in Christ, right. some of y'all know your scripture, mm -hmm. reconciling the world into himself. God used you, Jesus. Jesus was the bridge that men must cross must back cross. to God. That's right. God used Jesus as a bridge to bring humanity back to divinity. That's where humanity meet divinity is in Christ, not in a building, not in a denomination, not in an organization, not in an association, not in a frat, a fraternity, or some kind of secret club or society. If you want to meet God, you got to meet him in, in and through Jesus. Right. Wow. Okay. All right. I'm getting excited. Because sometimes when you walk with the Lord, and that's what I love about a saint. And that's what happened to Mother Krosky the other day. And you said it well, Dr. Rutley. Mother went for a walk with the Lord, and she kept on walking. Yes, she did. Whenever you enter into a relationship with Jesus, Hallelujah. the Lord of glory, yeah. You lose track of time. You ever been around somebody? Mm -hmm. you, you, they were just so excited and they captivated you and, and y'all just had so much fun. You just lost track of time. Yes. I do that all the time with you. <laughs> I do that with you too. <laughs> but that's what it's all about. Yes. Hook up with somebody mm -hmm. that, that will captivate your attention. Right. Because, because of the God that's in them. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Not, not, not just because mm -hmm. they have personality. Right. But God is in them. Mm -hmm. And when God is in you, mm -hmm. you, you can't get enough of each other. Right. You can't get enough of each other. Mm -hmm. But look at what Jesus is saying again. Verse 27, Matthew eleven twenty-seven. 27. Mm -hmm. All things are delivered unto me of my Father. And no man knoweth the Son but the Father, neither knoweth any man the Father, save the Son. Wow. And he to whomsoever the Son will reveal him. Now, listen at what the master teacher says. The master teacher said, come unto me. All ye. All ye that are labor. Labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Okay. Come unto me, mm -hmm. signifying that he is the teacher. Mm -hmm. Come to me, come unto me. But look at verse 29. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. Now he is the lesson. Yes. For the, I teacher, am weak. the teacher said come. Mm -hmm. And the teacher, when he teach, mm -hmm. we think he's teaching about somebody else and something else when all the time he's teaching about himself. Right. Come unto me, mm -hmm. and when you come unto me, don't just come to me. Learn of me. Mm -hmm. For I'm meek. You can't say you know who the Lord is and you're not meek. Right. Because the, the master teacher would teach you how to be meek. Yes, Lord. 
When I first came to him, I, I, y'all have heard my testimony, wow, but wow. Went to church, but wow. He would, he would, Dr. Rutland, when, when Jesus rode into Jerusalem mm -hmm. on Palm Sunday. Yes, sir. Come on with it. It was a donkey or right. an ass mm -hmm. that, that had, had never been broken. Right. Mm -hmm. How is that possible? Mm -hmm. a, a country boy or a cowboy mm -hmm. would tell you, mm -hmm. you can't ride a wild ass. Right. That's right. Y'all still here? Have y'all dismissed yourself? My, 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 my. You telling me God don't know how to tame us? Wow. He rode into Jerusalem mm -hmm. on a donkey that had never been tamed. Mm -hmm. That's because the Prince of Peace was on the donkey. The master was on the donkey. That's right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we ignorantly worship him and don't know mm -hmm. he can do anything but fail. Anything but fail. That's why he said, only believe mm -hmm. all, all things. things. Possible. Some things. All things are possible. You need somebody to believe. Right. All things are possible to him. Mm -hmm. Say them. That means I got to believe. Mm -hmm. You can't believe for me. To him that believe or believe it. Okay. Sorry. Sorry for snapping. Okay. Um, so come unto me, mm -hmm. signifying he's the teacher. Verse 29. And learn of me, meaning he is the lesson. As you learn of and about the master teacher or about the Lord God, if you will, you discover that he's meek and lowly in heart. Mm -hmm. He is not rowdy. He's not fussy. Mm -hmm. He won't frustrate you. He is humble. And if you come to him correct, you'll find rest that your soul stand in need of. Wow. 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 And then he goes on to say, my yoke, yoke is what you put around the horse or the oxen neck, especially when you team up. Who you teamed up with? See, when I teamed up with this young lady on my left and your right, when I teamed up with her, because she had the yoke of God around her neck. I got the yoke of God around my neck. My burden is easy. Why? Because it takes three to make a marriage. You thought it took two, didn't you? Hmm. Takes three. <laughs> why, why so, Brother Rutley? Because she was married to the Lord, number one. Number two, she desired to marry me. Number three, I, desire, I decided to marry her. And the three became one. Mm -hmm. All depend on how you look at it. How you looking at it? Three and one. Mm -hmm. When we look at the Lord, <clears throat> most folks teach it. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, there's not three gods. The Bible doesn't teach three gods. Israel know that there's one God, they're, but, but they're, confused, they're confused because they don't realize that the one God was revealed through Jesus Christ. God was in Christ, reconciling the world into himself. That's what made them one. When you then, when you open up and allow and, and seek and allow the spirit to come in you and take up residence, then you become one with them. One God that was re the God that we're talking, the true God was Father in creation. The true God was Son in redemption. The true God is the Holy Spirit or the Holy Ghost in the church today. Not three gods, three different functions, three different personalities one God God was father in creation God is became, he became son in redemption one God 
He is the Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit in the church today. We ignorantly worship him because we don't understand that there's one God. Back in Deuteronomy, I think it's chapter 4, um, uh, David said, the psalmist says that, know ye not that the Lord, he is God. We, we missed that, we, we miss that memo, that subliminal message. But again, if you don't have revelation, there's a difference between, somebody said there's a difference between, somebody said there's a difference between, somebody said there's a difference between, Situation versus revelation. Because you can be in a bad situation. Right, right. But if you got revelation, you can come out of this situation. My, 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 my. Because you know who rules mm -hmm. and who control it all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm enjoying this myself. Y'all excuse me. Sometimes you, you, when you get in the word, you delight yourself in him, and as you delight yourself and as you get happy in him, Dr. Rutley, right. you begin to praise him for who he is. Yes. And you can have a praise party all, all by, by yourself, yourself. And he ultimately gives you the desires of your heart. That's right. Wow. Okay, where are we? You want to go to Acts now? Let's go to Acts. Yes, yes. Let's, let's show you that there is spiritual proof that there are those. Now, the Greek had a God for everything. Moon God, sun God, this God, that God, and they had an altar. So look how Paul called their hand, and, and, and because God gave Paul revelation mm -hmm. as to what was going on. They, right. they, didn't under, they had all these different altars and worshiping these different gods, and Paul had to, he had a message for them. He said, now the one that you ignorantly worship." That's the one I want to declare unto you. Let's look at Acts 17. What verse was that, Dr. Rutley? 26, dealing with the one blood. Uh, That's what you gave me in the car, the one blood. Okay. Well, we, we're going to find that. Let's look at the, uh, I like that too. I like that. Uh, all of God's word is, word is good. 11, 1126. That's, mm -hmm. Okay. Let's look at 1126. Now, this, this is something God showed me as we were driving into the city mm -hmm. because, because, believe it or not, have you ever found yourself mad at somebody who may have been of the opposite race or nationality, any of us, you ever, you ever, for, for whatever reason? Do you not know that that person is your brother mm -hmm. from another mother? Because it's not the one true God. And even today in the Middle East, those, those guys are fighting and killing one another. And the enemy caused that. Mm -hmm. We're fighting our own and killing our own brother. Right. When you trace all of our genealogy back as far as we can go, we go back to either Noah and his three sons, or we go back to Adam. But look, look, at, look at what the word revealed. In our present situation, look at revelation that comes from the word. And have made of one blood all nations of men for to dwell on all the face of the earth and have determined the times before appointed and the bounds of their habitation. Now, that's, what, what is that, Acts what? That's Acts 17, 26. 17, you got to read it again, Dr. Rutley. 17, mm -hmm. somebody, somebody, somebody pray with us. Mm -hmm. with, and, and as you pray, let's pray for revelation. Yes, Lord. In spite of the situation. Right. Somebody say revelation. Revelation. In spite of the situation. In spite of the situation. All right, verse 26. And have made of one blood all nations of men, for to dwell on all the face of the earth. Now, let me, let me share some insight here. Mm -hmm. I don't care what the color of man's skin is. Mm -hmm. If you cut him, he bleed red. That's right. That's what God is trying to say. Mm -hmm. All men are brothers. Mm -hmm. That's why we are to love our enemies. Right. Why? That's your brother. Mm -hmm. 
Why? Because that's your sister. Will you kill your own brother? When you don't have an understanding, you will. Lord Jesus. When you don't have an understanding, when you don't have revelation of the situation, yes, you will kill your own mother. Lord have mercy. Mm -hmm. One blood. One blood. <laughs> and yet we kill each other and spill each other's blood mm -hmm. and walk away as if though we made a great accomplishment. And Bishop, you know, when you say murder, I always think about too, because a lot of times we think blood or murder is just when you physically kill somebody. Yes. But this tongue, this tongue is an unruly member Lord and it mercy. can kill, mm, mm, mm. you know. And so it's, it's very important that we be careful what we say. Dr. Rutley, yes, Dr. Sir. Rutley, Dr. Yes, sir. Rutley. That, that tongue have killed more people than the yes. atom bomb. Right. More people than the bullet mm -hmm. from pistols right. and rifle mm -hmm. have killed more people than COVID, mm -hmm. cancer, mm -hmm. and any other disease you want to throw in there. Right. That tongue is an unruly member, it and is. without the Holy Ghost, right. you, some of y'all are killing folk right. as I speak. Right. Assassinating people's We kill some people today. Lord Jesus. You know, with, that, with that little with thing that in tongue. your mouth. Right. That's right. You need the Holy Ghost to keep. Yes. Mm -hmm. you, need, you need the Holy Ghost to shut it down. Right. Because the more you talk. Do, do you not know? Now, we burn our fireplace. Do you not know it takes one match to start a fire? Just one. One match can do a lot of damage. Right, sir. Uh, right. One wild, unruly, mm -hmm. poisonous tongue. Right. Can destroy a nation. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yep. So 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 we we walk up into the places of worship. Right. As if though we made great strides today, because we didn't pull the trigger on somebody. Right. When you didn't keep your mouth. Right. Because if you if you he who keeps the heart mm -hmm. will keep his mouth mm -hmm. and so man is not in control of keeping his own heart mm -hmm. only God can direct the heart of a man and out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaketh and so you know that's why we got to number one keep our heart in order to keep our mouth so so what you're saying then since I'm un, I'm not capable of keeping my heart mm -hmm. I got to entrust my heart to God yes sir that's and right. if I give God my heart, yes. then he would direct my mouth. Yes, he will. Yes, wow. he will. And so instead of me condemning people in right. the street, That's right. I go out and begin right. to speak yes. peace That's right. and speak joy That's right. and speak deliverance. Speak life. Speak mm -hmm. life, Dr. Rutt. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Jesus didn't speak death. No. Mm -mm. He spoke life. That's right. Wow. Mm -hmm. That thing in the mouth. I, I, didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. That's revelation. Yes, sir. That is revelation. Mm -hmm. Because some people, when you don't want them to open their mouths. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because they will destroy some things. Right. And destroy some people. Sowing discord, and, and God hates discord. That's out of the six things that the Lord do hate. Yes. Discord is one of them. And people say things in people's ear, Bishop. And it'll destroy churches, it'll <laughs> destroy families, it'll destroy marriages. Nations, destroy, Dr. Rutley. Yes, sir. Ultimately, nations. Who have we destroyed today? Lord Jesus. With our mouths. Right. Situation. Right, sir. Versus revelation. Right. Bad situation. What, what can you say in the midst of a storm? My God. You can make bad matters worse, mm -hmm. or you can speak to the storm and say, peace. Be still. <laughs> Amen. Aren't you a son of God? Hallelujah. The enemy don't want us to see that we can be like him. Mm -hmm. The enemy don't want us to see that we are like him. Mm -hmm. We are. Bad situation. What do you do in a bad situation? Mm -hmm. Storm, peace be still. Mm -hmm. Please be still. 
But that's what I saw when you were talking about the donkey. Peace was on the donkey. The, the Prince, Prince of, of Peace. The Prince of Peace. That donkey. And, and, and could, that donkey couldn't wild had, out. he couldn't wild out, Bishop, because the Prince of Peace was on him. Now, if a donkey <laughs> can recognize the presence of God. Right. Yes, sir. What about a man? What about us? Amen. If a donkey That's right. recognize that the master have need of thee, mm -hmm. and many of us, catch this in the spirit, symbolizes a wild donkey. Mm -hmm. But the Lord know what to do with us. Yes, now, he so does. and so don't know what to do with yes, us. Yes, he does. So and so want to pull their pistol out on us. Right. So and so want to beat us over the head. Mm -hmm. But the Lord, instead of destroying a man mm -hmm. or a thing, now, 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 the Lord has an opponent, mm -hmm. Lucifer. Everything God set out to do good, right. Lucifer has set out to sabotage. To defile it. Mm -hmm. Just to defile it. Yes. My God. So that's why you got to be careful who's in your ear. That's right, Bishop. Right. Read, you, read, Jesus. read, read in your leisure, mm -hmm. Numbers mm -hmm. 14. Mm -hmm. When everybody turned on Moses, Moses and, and Aaron. Aaron. Mm -hmm. My God. What, what are the majority of, of the people doing? You don't do it because the majority is doing right. it. Right. Mm -hmm. Amen. I'm glad Jesus, who did Jesus follow? He followed the lead of his father. Who are you yes. following? Yeah. That's why you need the Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord. To be in your ear, because people will get in your ear. Mm -hmm. And, it, and, and it's, it's messed up because people don't know how vulnerable they are, Dr. Rutherford. So Rutten. true. We, we don't know how vulnerable we are. True. And we run to all of the, the, the people with our business who is going to promote our business. Lord have mercy. Instead of helping us and right. promoting Christ, right. we go to people who, when you look up, the person that had their arms around you, mm -hmm. who, 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 who portrayed you mm -hmm. with a kiss. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like Judas. Right. Jesus never bad mouthed. He never exposed Judas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He loved him. Mm -hmm. yes. He loved him. He, he taught us how to love our enemies. Right. Can you love your enemy? That's it. Thank you, Lord. Some people, deliverance is predicated on you loving them mm -hmm. when they're at their worst. So true. Wow. Mm -hmm. Revelation mm -hmm. versus situation. What do you see in your storm? Mm -hmm. Can you see your way out? That's why the scripture said, looking unto Jesus, mm -hmm. the author and the Thank finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross. Despising the shame. See, in the face of your cross, mm -hmm. you can endure. Mm -hmm. Who for the joy. See, in the face of your cross, there's joy. Let's look at that. Hebrew 11. I believe it is. No, I believe that's Romans 12. 12 we'll, we'll find it. 12 verse 2, I yes. believe. Let's, let's, let's look over there. Can, can I be led by the Spirit? We, we're in class, right? Look, 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 look at... Um, mm, what's that in? Let's see. Is that uh, Romans 12? Uh, 12, I mean 11? Hold on. No. Is it Romans or Hebrew? Hebrew. It's Hebrew. 12 yeah, two. twelve two. Okay, you were right. Okay. Hebrew twelve two. Yep, there you now, go. Now this, I, I want to know what you're looking at. Who you're looking at? Who right. you're looking? Who you're looking to? Mm -hmm. Who are you listening to? Who's See who's in your ear. Uh, mm -hmm. Jesus again was God in the flesh, mm -hmm. and. This is what Paul is saying, looking unto Jesus, mm -hmm. 
the author, author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross. Jesus was able to look past the cross mm -hmm. and saw victory. Yes. Some people look at their cross mm -mm. and they see doom. Mm -hmm. They see the end. Right. Like Israel. They were so busy looking at the wilderness, mm -hmm. they could not, they lost track on, on Canaan, mm -hmm. the promised land. Mm -hmm. I heard you say some folk are stuck where they should be passing through. Yes, yes. You're stuck. Yes. How are you going to get that person out of that stuck state? Mm -hmm. We can't. Right. But God can. God can. Mm -hmm. God can. That's why you got to love the unlovable and make sure they don't have an excuse. Mm -hmm. Don't fuel the fire mm -hmm. that your enemy has started. Right. And Bishop, that's why it's so important. That's so good. That's why it's so important that we got to pray before we speak. Wow. Because sometimes we just say way too much. And yes. we cause a problem, Bishop. We do. We do. I've seen it. We do. Mm -hmm. God help us. And see, Jesus, even when he was, he never said a mumly word. He taught us how to be quiet. <laughs> sure did. He taught us how to hold our peace yes. and let God fight our battles. He taught wow. us through what he endured at Golgotha. Wow. After they scourged him, after all those things they did, there were times they questioned him. He didn't say a word, Bishop. He didn't wow. murmur. He didn't complain. He didn't do none of that. Wow. He was quiet. I can see. Imagine with me. I can see if he was guilty. Right. I could see if he had destroyed lives. When you compare Jesus' life, watch this. Look, I want you all to see the difference between what's godly, what's right, versus what's popular and how the situation, how the ball, the ball can bounce in your favor or mm -hmm. against you. Mm -hmm. Jesus, see, people always take the best of God mm -hmm. or the enemy, Dr. Rutley, mm -hmm. and try to throw us in with the worst. Mm. Two thieves. You gonna you gonna you gonna you gonna kill this man mm -hmm. and make a criminal make make people think he's a criminal mm -hmm. when he is the Lord of glory? My God. When when mm -hmm. you you he came to die for us and, right. and, and we can't we, we don't under, we don't we don't see this. We don't understand wow. this. Wow. So so instead, we don't want nobody that's gonna die for us. We wanna kill him. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. How backwards is that? That's it. How backwards is that? That's it. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. We got to find the scripture. We got to find the scripture where um, we got to find the scripture where it talks about they, they, they ignorantly worship God. Okay. That's, was that, I think that was Acts 17. Mm -mm. That was in Acts 17? Mm -mm. You didn't give me that one. Let's, let's look it up because we need to read that because people go to church, but they're ignorantly worshiping the God that they don't understand. It might be, yeah, so it's in 23. What we talked about in the car was 1726, the other scripture, so that's fine. Well, we want to read 1726 yeah, as, as well. We read 26. Both of them in, in, in Acts both, 17? That's what it is. Okay, both good. in Acts. Good, good. Okay. So we're going to get a double dose. Amen. Double dose. Lord help us. See, Thank see you, what, you, what you got to understand when you walk by faith, what yes, you can see what Satan meant for evil, mm -hmm. God make it for good. He will turn what Satan is trying to trap you with. He'll, God will turn it around in your favor. And for we know that all things work does together. what? Work, work together. together for the good to them that love God 
and according those who are called to according purpose. to his purpose. Yeah, that's what it is. We just had to back up to 23. Okay, well, let's go. We want to look at both of those verses again. What's the first verse? Yes. 23. 23, and then I already read 26. I can read that let's again. Let's look at Acts 17, 23. Okay. Jesus, uh, mm -hmm. uh, actually, Paul is addressing mm -hmm. um, these philosophers, if right. you will, on Mars Hill. Yes. 23 says, For as I passed by and beheld your devotions, I found an altar with this inscription, To the unknown God, whom therefore ye ignorantly worship, him declare I unto you. The one you're ignorantly worshiping right. is the one we want to declare unto you tonight. Glory to God. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's, that's why you need mm -hmm. faith. Mm -hmm. That's why you need faith, because faith will reveal, in the face of the situation, faith will give you revelation. Yes. I got to show you this. Mm -hmm. I think it's, I, I'm led to believe that it's in, uh, I, I, it's either 2 Corinthians, um, where it talks about none of the princes of this world knew for had they known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. I want you to see that. Is that 1 Corinthians? 1 Corinthians 2 8, I believe. 2 8. Look at this, saints. Make a note, please. Because the Bible is inscripted, you can sit down and try to read it as a fair, uh, 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 some, some type of uh, storybook. Uh -uh. You got you got to read it and ask God for an understanding. Yes, Lord. You got to ask God for revelation. Mm -hmm. Though you're missing, it. it's it's inscripted. Yes. It's almost like it's a code. You see, so uh, look look at First Corinthians two eight. And it reads, "I speak not by commandment, but by occasion of the forwardness of others, and to prove the sincerity of your love." Where are you? Thought I was in Corinthians. No, you're not in First. Oh, Corinthians. I'm in Second Corinthians. My bad. That could be true. <laughs> that, that could be possible. <laughs> I, I did it too fast. I'm sorry. No problem. Y'all praying? Thank you, Jesus. Read, read eight and nine. Uh, and oh, go down to ten. Go ahead. Oh, this is good. Okay. First Corinthians chapter two. Start at verse 6, Dr. Rutley. Okay. <clears throat> and we'll go down to the Lord's say of the wine. Come on. First Back Corinthians 2. Mm -hmm. Okay. 6. Okay. And it reads, Howbeit we speak wisdom among them that are perfect, yet not the wisdom of this world, nor of the prince of this world that come to naught. Mm -hmm. But we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery, even the hidden wisdom which God ordained before the world unto our glory, which none of the princes of this world knew. For had they known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. Can somebody say they made a bad mistake? They made a bad mistake. But God, what God, what, what Satan meant for evil. That's right. God made it for good. He made it for our because good. Because Christ came to die mm -hmm. for the ungodly. Yes, he did. They thought they was just killing a thief mm -hmm. or killing somebody. They called who, him a blasphemer. They thought he was right. blaspheming against God. Yes, because they didn't have an understanding. They didn't understand who he was. He wasn't a murderer. Right. He wasn't a thief. Mm -mm. He wasn't a criminal. Mm -mm. So look, look at what it says mm -hmm. at verse Eight again. For none of the princes of this world knew. knew. Read. For had they known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. Where was Jesus from? Glory. Where was Jesus from? He was from glory. They didn't know what they was doing. <laughs> they had no idea. And Bishop, I love it because they would have been all right if they, when they laid that cross down <laughs> and they nailed his hands and they nailed his feet they would have been great if they had left him on the ground. But Jesus said, if I, if I be lifted up, I'll draw them in. They messed up. 
when they lifted him off the ground, oh, <laughs> they, they, they messed up. He said, if I, if I be lifted up from yeah. the earth, yeah. they lifted him from the earth, Bishop. He My spoke God. it. He, he spoke did. it. He did. Wow. My question then to those of us who declare that we are Christians and born again, My what God. are you speaking? My God. Mm -hmm. You can knock me down, but he's going right. to pick me up. Right. That's right. You can set me back, but he's going to raise me up. That's right. You can lie on me, but the truth mm -hmm. is mm. going to come to pass. He's going to set My me Lord. free. My Lord, yes, yes. He yes. spoke it. Yes, he did. Mm -hmm. Don't, 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 don't. And, and they thought they was doing a deed. Right. And all of the time, he mm -hmm. came to seek and say that which was lost. He right. came to go to God. God. He did. So it all, see. That's why God is looking for those of us who are willing to go the long way around. Mm -hmm. Those of us who are willing to suffer for his name's sake. Right. Mm -hmm. You see. So Amen. Uh, I, I want to show you verse 8. Then I want to go back and show you that they ignorantly were worshiping the Lord God. Mm -hmm. But they didn't know that he was the Lord of glory. Mm -hmm. They didn't know. Mm -hmm. Just like, and, and it says, mm -hmm. for had they known it, they wouldn't, have, they wouldn't have crucified him. That's right, the Lord of glory. If the, the enemy had, had never seen God in human form. Right. That's why he tried to tempt Jesus mm -hmm. in the fourth chapter of Matthew. Mm -hmm. You say you the son of God, command these stones. So he tried to tempt him. Mm -hmm. and, and the Lord said, well, man, sure. How many of you know you need to get in your word so when the enemy start talking, you can That's say right. it is written. written. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Mm -hmm. now, don't try to quote what somebody else said. Know for yourself it is. It, the con this is a contract. The right. Bible is a contract. Right. Right. God's contract with those of us who, yes. who are faithful to yes. him. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. It yes. is yes. written. When people yes. try to tell me certain thing right. about GM, right. I had to know. Mm -hmm. I had, I'm, I'm supposed to sit down and do this job for X numbers of dollars an hour. Right. right. Mm -hmm. So I can't, I can't every, take 15-minute break every hour on the hour right. like you are. Right. I got to do my job. That's right. How many of you know as a, as a Christian, you have a job to got do? Got a job to do. Yes, 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 yes. Got you got to tell to the do. enemy when he comes. That's right. When, when the enemy tried to Thank encourage you, you to be a slacker, mm -hmm. you got to say, mm -hmm. we got to be faithful unto death. That's right. That's right. Thank you, Lord. You got to fight mm -hmm. the good fight of faith. That's right. See, we can't wait to get to church so we can re relax, mm -hmm. pad a pew. Everything is so convenient now. My Lord. Mm -hmm. So let, 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 let me take you back you go to, back to Acts, Acts 17. And then and then we're just Amen. gonna we're just gonna we're just gonna shut this down if y'all don't mind. But uh please look for somebody. My Lord. Who This is this is talking about faith. Mm -hmm. Look, Someone look for who loved the Lord God. Somebody who loved God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And know who He is. Amen. So we're going back to Acts seventeen. Twenty three. Seventeen twenty three. Good word. Good good word. I'm enjoying this myself. Twenty three. What what was the other one? Six. Uh, it, it was it was twenty six. Seventeen twenty six. Seventeen twenty six. And the 26 okay. was about the um, the one blood, all nations. Okay, yeah. All men are your brothers in, right. in uh, verse 26. Mm -hmm. But back up to 23 again, and we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna bring this segment to a close. For as I passed by and beheld your devotions, I found an altar with this inscription, to the unknown God, whom therefore ye ignorantly worship, him declare I unto you. Have anybody seen yet? That the, that the person that they crucified, this God they, they worshiped ignorantly, had they known that they wouldn't have crucified, he was the Lord of glory mm -hmm. or the 
Lord from glory. Mm -hmm. Y'all have, 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 have revelation showed you that yet? My Lord. They ignorantly worship him. Mm -hmm. And had they known it, they wouldn't have crucified him. Right. But it's too late. They've crucified right. the him. The Lord of glory. But who was he? The Lord of glory. Somebody said the Lord of glory. Mm -hmm. You can say it, but you got to ask God to show you. Mm -hmm. In the midst of this bad situation, mm -hmm. God was working for us. Right. He mm -hmm. was working for you and I, mm -hmm. brothers and sisters. Ladies and gentlemen, our time has ran out. Truly, we thank God for yours. Until next time, beloved, may the rest of your days be the best of your days. In Jesus' in name. In Jesus' name. Amen. We love you. We love you. Amen. Amen. God bless Praise the Lord, everybody. Please govern yourself for the announcements. If you have a birthday or wedding anniversary in the month of March, we salute and celebrate you. May God bless you all to see many more. Our nursery and junior camp is open every first Sunday. The nursery ages are 1 through 4, and the junior camp ages are 5 through 15. Volunteers are needed. Questions, see Minister Kim Matthews, Sister Sheila Walls, or Sister Valerie White, yours truly. If you have a need to get rid of excess paper, newspaper, or magazines, junk mail, we have a paper bin in the parking lot. Please drop off at any time. The church benefits by getting a small stifling per pound. Our monthly Sisterhood Zoom meeting is every second Saturday from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. You are invited to be part of Berea's Zoom prayer meeting every Wednesday from 6 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. A Hands Up Men's Ministry takes place every fourth Saturday via Zoom at 4 p.m. The Zoom meeting ID number for Sisterhood, Prayer, and the Men's Ministry is 228-592-3235, and the passcode is God Will, capital G-O-D, capital W-I-L-L. -L. Berea's 13-week Grief Share Program is from March 3rd, 2024 through May 26th, 2024 on Sundays at 1 p.m. here at Berea. If you are struggling with the passing of a loved one or know of someone who is, then this program is for you. Please register online at griefshare.org. Light refreshments provided. If you have any questions, please call the church office at 248 338 or 748. Leave a message and you will be contacted ASAP or see Dr. Rutley, program facilitator. There will be no grief share on Sunday, March 31st in observance of Holiday Resurrection Sunday. Tax season time for those who would like your letter of giving for 2023. P please feel free to email the church at experienceberea at gmail.com and allow one week for response. For any questions, see Minister Sonia Williams. If you have been experiencing any cold, flu, allergy, or sinus symptoms, it is imperative that you please have a COVID test done with negative results before returning to church. We would like to thank all the financial supporters. We have three convenient ways you can continue to give. Con continue to use Givelify on the church website at experienceberea.org. You can give in person doing worship service. You can mail it to Berea Family Tabernacle of Faith, 68 West Walton Boulevard, Pontiac, Michigan, 48340. If you or someone you know is sick and shut in, Please contact the church office at 248-338-4748 or email us at experienceberea at gmail.com and we will have your name added to the sick and shut-in prayer list on Berea's website. We don't want anyone to be overlooked. You can visit the church website for all announcements at experienceberea.org. Let's pray for those who are sick and shut-in, bereaved, or suffering in any way. This concludes our announcements. Thank you.
If this program has been a blessing to you, why not be a blessing to it? Log on to experienceberea.org. In the top mid section of the website, click on online giving and follow the GiveLify instructions or on your mobile device. Download the GiveLify app and search Berea Family Tabernacle of Faith to give your generous gift. Remember, little becomes much when you place it into the hands of God. Thank you for your generous gifts. It is our prayer that you've been blessed, encouraged, and uplifted by this broadcast. On behalf of our pastor, leader, and shepherd, Bishop Roselle Rutley and Dr. Dara Fila Rutley, may the rest of your days be the best of your days.